Proper maintenance is critical in prolonging the life and the health for the engine of your vehicle. If your vehicle has a timing belt, it is important to be properly cared for. All timing belts have a scheduled service interval required by the vehicle manufacturer. The mileage and the timeframes of when the timing belt should be serviced vary depending on the make, model and sometimes the engine of the vehicle. In this video, we will show you how to properly install your Aishin TKK002 and TKK003 timing belt kit found in many popular 2.0 litre Kia and Hyundai vehicles. We would like to caution you, the tensioner bearing included in the TKK003 timing belt kit can easily be installed incorrectly. This video is to show you the correct installation for this tensioner. And for clarification, the TKK002 kit fits earlier Hyundai and Kia 2.0 litre motors through 2006 in most cases and utilizes this tensioner. The TKK003 featured in this video uses this tensioner. We're not sure of the reason for the design change by Hyundai Kia but it appears the earlier design tensioner would not have caused the misinstallation issues that have been encountered with the new style. Unfortunately, you cannot replace one with the other, as the tensioner bolts are different sizes. The following are the removal procedures. Remove upper engine cover. Remove front right wheel and right engine cover. Remove the right engine mount and support bracket. First, apply light pressure to support the engine on the oil pan using a floor jack with a piece of wood or other protector. Once supported, you can remove the right engine mount support bracket, then the engine mount. Remove the alternator, AC compressor and power steering pump drive belts. Unmount and move away power steering pump. There is no need to disconnect the power steering hoses. This will give you additional room for the service. Remove water pump pulley. Remove upper timing belt cover. Make sure that cylinder number one is located at top dead center or TDC. To do this, we need to align the crankshaft pulley timing mark to the T timing mark located on the lower timing belt cover. Check the timing marks align on the camshaft to the cylinder head. Remove the crankshaft pulley bolt, pulley and flange plate. Remove lower timing cover. Remove mechanical timing belt tensioner. This is the TKK002 tensioner bearing. And this is the TKK003 tensioner bearing. Remove timing belt. Remove timing belt idler pulley. Remove alternator bracket, then remove the water pump. Once here, you can inspect your camshaft and crankshaft seals for any leaks. If you have any leaks or if you choose to change them, you should do it now. Water pump installation. Be sure to completely clean off any residual water pump gasket material from the mating surface of the engine. Any debris or leftover gasket material can compromise the sealing of the water pump. Your included Aishin water pump comes with a NBR coated metal gasket. Do not use any sealant or any other type of adhesive on this gasket. Install included Aishin water pump. Then install alternator bracket. Let's speed this up a bit.
Now that we're done with that, let's install the new Aishin idler bearing. Off we go again. Alright, if you are installing the tensioner bearing for the TKK002, temporarily install the new Aishin tensioner bearing and bolt. Leave the bolt loose for now. If you are installing the tensioner bearing for TKK003, temporarily install the new Aishin tensioner bearing and bolt in the correct location. This is extremely important. Verify the tabs in the tensioner bearing go in the lower freeze plug in front of the cylinder head as shown here. This procedure is critical. If the tabs are mounted in the top freeze plug, it will most certainly cause catastrophic engine failure. Verify that the timing marks on the crankshaft and camshaft sprockets remain aligned. Verify the dot on the crankshaft aligns with the line on the oil pump housing and verify that the hole on the camshaft sprockets align with the line on the cylinder head. Install timing belt first on the crankshaft sprocket, then the idler bearing, then the camshaft sprocket and finally the tensioner bearing. Make sure the timing belt is taut during this step. For the tensioner bearing in the TKK002, you will be using a 5mm hex driver. Apply enough tension to the timing belt in a counterclockwise direction so there is not slack on the timing belt on the tension side and tighten the tensioner bearing mounting bolt to 35 pound feet or 48 newton meters. Recheck the timing belt tension by applying a small force of about 5 pounds or 2 kilograms against the tension side of the timing belt. The timing belt should deflect only about 0.16 to 0.24 inches or 4 to 6 millimeters. For the tensioner bearing in the TKK003 kit, pull the pin of the tensioner bearing. Using a 6 millimeter hex driver, turn the adjusting cam on the bearing in a counterclockwise direction in order to adjust the indicator arm to be located at the center of the notch as shown here. Tighten the tensioner bearing mounting bolt to 20 pound feet or 25 newton meters. Temporarily install the crankshaft bolt. Verify the timing belt installation by turning the crankshaft two turns in a clockwise direction. Realign the crankshaft sprocket timing mark and verify the camshaft sprocket timing mark is still aligned. If both alignment marks align, remove the crankshaft bolt. Once the timing marks have been verified, proceed to installing the lower timing belt cover. Install flange plate, crankshaft pulley and bolt. Verify the notch on the crankshaft pulley properly aligns with the key on the crankshaft. Verify the timing mark on the crankshaft pulley aligns the T on the lower timing cover. Torque the crankshaft bolt to 127 pound feet or 172 newton meters. Install upper timing belt cover.
Install water pump pulleys. Install power steering, AC compressor and alternator drive belts. Install engine mount and torque the bolts to 42 pound-feet or 56 newton meters. Install engine mount bracket and torque bracket to mount nut to 51 pound feet or 69 newton meters. Torque bracket to engine nuts and bolt to 42 pound feet or 56 newton meters. Install right engine cover followed by the wheel. Install upper engine cover. Properly flush and refill the cooling system. Start and run your engine to verify the service was done correctly. Be sure to affix the included Aishin mileage sticker to show you have used quality Aishin parts. Be sure to write the date and the mileage of when the service was done. For more information, visit the Aishin Aftermarket website at www.aishinaftermarket.com.